I grew up in north central Iowa on a small family farm. It was a traditional family farm. Uh, from there, I graduated from high school in 1967, two years of pre-veterinary work, went to the College of Veterinary Medicine at Iowa State University and graduated in 1973. From that point, we went to the Twin Cities. I was in a small animal practice in Roseville, Minnesota for a year. And then from that point, then we moved back to Iowa to Stewart, Iowa. And there I was in a mixed practice for 25 years. And then in August of 1999, I saw an advertisement as far as for uh, advertising the assistant state veterinary physician. I really wasn't thinking about a change as far as in practice. I thoroughly enjoyed practice. And they hired me. I was there as the assistant state veterinarian until our previous state veterinarian took a field position. I was the act, acting state veterinarian for a period of time. And then our secretary of agriculture appointed me as state veterinarian in January of 1998. Many states either have a commissioner, a director, or a secretary of agriculture. In Iowa, we have a secretary of agriculture, an elected official, and that individual uh, has the authority to appoint the state veterinarian. We do the licensing in our Animal Industry Bureau as far as all the companion animal facilities that are licensed by Iowa Code. So the commercial breeders of dogs and cats, the animal shelters, the pounds, the pet stores, the boarding facilities, the groomers, the trainers. On the large animal or livestock side, we license livestock dealers, auction markets, renderers, poultry buyers, uh, feeder pig dealers, sheep dealers, and, and there's various livestock licensing authorities. Making sure that animals are moving out of state properly, making sure that animals are moving in properly, certificates of veterinary inspection, whether they're paper or electronic, we track all of the movements and, and that's our role. As my position in Iowa, the way code is, I am also the executive secretary for the Iowa Board of Veterinary Medicine, the licensing authority for all licensed veterinarians in the state and the veterinary technicians. So we do have, or I do have many hats or many roles to, to play as far as in the, the uh, Iowa Department of Agriculture. Currently, for our state, we have four state district veterinarians. They oversee and are involved with all of the field work related activities. We currently have six positions that are livestock inspectors. So they have three veterinary medical officers. Ours are termed as state district veterinarians and our state district veterinarians uh, oversee state activities, but they also work with the federal veterinary medical officers as far as on the, the federal programs and disease eradication programs. Our district veterinarians, our state district veterinarians, and our federal veterinary medical officers, they are all foreign animal disease diagnosticians. When it comes to a case of a suspect, suspected foreign animal disease, then we will work together. I and, and our area veterinarian in charge will be in communication. We assign that out to the most appropriate uh, uh, foreign animal disease diagnostician, whether it's a state district veterinarian or a federal veterinary medical officer to conduct the investigation. And we maintain that communication all the way through the case. My role and my responses and responsibilities are related to Iowa Code of Law and statute that is developed by our Iowa legislative system. Under the area veterinarian in charge, they operate under USDA, the federal government, employed by the federal government, and their authorities, a lot of their authorities come out of the Code of Federal Regulations. The area veterinarian in charge on the USDA Veterinary Services side, who is my counterpart, 
His authorities extend a lot of times to roles as far as for exports and export certificates that we do not deal with in our office. I, I really enjoy the role that I play because I have the opportunity to work with so many groups and individuals from the licensed veterinarians in the state to the in animal industries in the state as well as the College of Veterinary Medicine and the Veterinary Diagnostic Lab here uh, working with USDA Veterinary Services and it's afforded me the opportunity as far as uh, operating on a national basis and sharing the story of animal industry as far as in our state the things that we do to try to safeguard our agriculture industry as well as our food supply.